Hey everyone, my name is Olaf, and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to make this exact simulation in Blender using the built-in Blender physics. As always, it's going to be uh, quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off by pressing X to delete the uh, default cube, and then press Shift A, and let's add a sphere, which uh, gives us a uh, bit more interesting smoke. And then let's go to Object, Quick Effects, and then Quick Smoke, so that we get the uh, basic smoke settings for the uh, sphere. And then press S to scale up the domain, which is the border of the smoke simulation. And then press G, then set to grab it on the set axis. And then let's go into the uh, simulation settings, under the uh, physics settings. And I'm going to increase the resolution, so let's set it to 100 for now. And then next, let's enable the adaptive domain. And the adaptive domain will decrease the baking time because it adapts to the simulation. And let's add some additional resolution as well for the adaptive domain to increase the quality of the simulation. And then let's add some noise to the smoke so that the smoke doesn't look that smooth and uh, instead looks a bit more realistic. And then I'm going to set the type to all, so that we can bake the simulation. And uh, then let's do a uh, test bake at a uh, lower resolution. And I uh, speed it up this part. And as you can see, we now have a very basic smoke simulation. So uh, let's add some lighting before we improve the smoke simulation itself. Let's go into render view, and then let's switch to cycles. And I'm going to use the GPU and set the number of samples to 50. And if you have a GPU, make sure to increase the tile size for a faster render. And then let's change the light into a sun and set the strength to five. And because we want more smoke, I'm going to increase the length of the simulation. So let's set the end frame to 400. And then next, we can select the domain. And then go into the domain settings. And let's free the previous bake. So if we can create a new one, set the end frame to 400. And then let's scroll to the top and increase the resolution. If you have a fairly normal computer, I recommend setting it to around 200 or 300. And then next, I'm going to add a force field, a turbulence force field with a strength of 0.2 to give the smoke some variation. And then let's save before we continue. So I just give the file a name and then press enter to save. And then next, we can bake the simulation once again, but this time with a higher resolution. And after about an hour of baking on this computer, we have this very basic smoke simulation, as you can see when we move on the uh, timeline. And if you want to see what it looks like in rendered view, you can just switch to render view. So uh, let's see what the smoke looks like, and it looks nice. So uh, let's save before we continue. So uh, file, save as, then click on the plus sign and then save. And then next we can drag the top right corner of the window. And now we're going to go into the shader editor to edit the thickness of the smoke in rendered view. So uh, let's go into rendered view. And then we can change the density of the smoke, which uh, controls the uh, thickness of the smoke, as you can see. So I'm going to set it to around uh, 6, which is slightly higher than the default value. And then we can drag the top right corner of the first window to remove this uh, window. Okay. And then I'm going to hide the sphere in render view and in the viewport. If you do not want to hide 
the inflow object, you can just uh, keep the visibility on. And then I'm also going to make the background a, a bit darker. So that we can see the smoke a bit more in contrast to the uh, background. Okay. And then next, I'm going to uh, go into the uh, camera. So uh, press Control Alt Number Zero to set the camera to the uh, current view, and then press N and lock the camera to view. So uh, something like this, and uh, press G to uh, grab the uh, camera. And as you can see, this is a smoke simulation that obviously fits the Instagram 1.1 aspect ratio the best. Okay, so let's set the resolution to 4K. And uh, then select a uh, folder for the uh, rendered images. So I'm going to select uh, the uh, large renders folder. And you can, of course, save it wherever you want on your computer. I'm just going to call the folder Smoke Easy and then give the render a name. And then after the render is done, you can just convert them from PNG to MP4. I have a tutorial on that topic on YouTube. Just search PNG to MP4 and you will find a very quick tutorial for that. And then let's render. So uh, let's go to one of the later frames and do a uh, test render for one image and see if it works correctly. So render, then render image. And I think it looks fine. So uh, the next step will be to render the whole animation. So let's close this window. And I'm going to change the position of the camera slightly before I render the final animation. And this is the time to uh, make the final adjustments. And once you're happy with the adjustments, you can start the render. Okay, so let's go to render and then render animation. And uh, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want more smoke simulations and uh, physics simulations in general, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll probably make more of them very soon.